All right, Mabuhay Squad. So after that fun food adventure, um, because Tagaytay is relatively close to Cavite, which is where we are building the future Mabuhay Squad farm, we decided to check up on um, the site and also update you guys as to the progress of the building of our future farm company home. Here we are. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Hey, also, Kuyo Ryan's like to the guard. He's like homeowner, <laughs> and they just let us in. Oh my gosh, I'm getting goosebumps. RJ, are you excited? Yeah. Me too. OMG, it's been months since we've seen the property. So guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the daily vlogs. My name is Mikey Bustos. This is RJ Garcia. Jaya, <laughs> There's the wall of positivity. Woo! Look at the wall of positivity, RJ. Okay, for those of you who don't know what that is, the wall of positivity is these like big slabs of concrete and they're going to paint positive affirmations on each of them on the outside. They're gonna smoothen this out though, right? Yeah. But they are going to paint positive affirmations that you guys suggested, you know, like positive sayings, inspirational quotes, it whatever. It's gonna be outside though. It's gonna be on the outside, yeah. Because, you know, kind of like our positive affirmation for the month, Month, but like we want positive vibes. We want this property to radiate, you know, Mabuhay squad attitudes and just positive vibes. You know what I'm saying? And we chose this design of gate because we want the wind to still blow through the property because this area of Cavite tends to be very breezy, right? Mm -hmm. Like we're here and it's not hot. Um, nice and breezy, beautiful trees all around. Oh my gosh, RJ, now that they've cleared all the bamboo, I can see how big the property really is. Okay, check this out, guys. So this is almost 3,000 square meters and goes all the way down, down there to those bamboo. Okay, wait, let's go check it out. Whoa. Oh my gosh, it's so... RJ, let's go. Oh my gosh, RJ, look at how far it is. Okay, so the house is going to be somewhere here. Oh my, look at... Oh... M G. Wow. Look at the bamboo that they've cut down. They're gonna use that to build the Bahai Kubo. Our uh, like Nipa hut. I like a traditional house. Okay, so the property extends all the way down there. I guess they're building the rest of the fence there. All the way here. And then we have the pool will be back here. Oh my. Oh guys, look. That's where they're gonna build the traditional Filipino hut where we can, you know, hang out, maybe do yoga. <laughs> Have breakfast. Oh my, look. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, unreal. And then we have still some bamboo here. Oh my, it's just so beautiful. Uh, oh my goodness. This is crazy. Okay, so also, there's gonna be, I guess some, there's, there's a creek that runs back there, that runs all the way there. And I think it's gonna feed a water reservoir that will be here from my understanding. I don't know, I, we gotta talk to the architect as to what we agreed to, but OMG, this is, this is insane. Oh, my boy high squad, this is amazing. Guys, look at that. I didn't know the Bahai Kubo was gonna be that big. Oh, see? Hello, good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon. Keep up the great work. Oh my gosh, what do I say to them? Like, they're building our future home. Go, go, go. Sorry, I'm in their way here. I want to help them. The RJ's leaves. saying we should cut these bamboo. Because the leaves will go to the pool. Oh. They also attract snakes, apparently, but... <laughs> We're friends with snakes. We're also friends with the monitor lizards that apparently live here. Oh my! Oh yeah, Ryan, what do you think? Now that I see it, it's qu yeah, it's quite large. I guess the garden will be down there somewhere. What do you call it? Sising uh, pare. Sising pare? Like, ring of the priest? Guys, this is like, um, it, it's a millipede, but 
I don't want to touch it because I made that mistake, right? You're not supposed to touch it because they have, they produce um, this toxin. It's bad for your eyes. Cyanide. I made that mistake once. Guys, the wildlife here is impeccable. Lots of ants, different species. I've seen, for those of you who are part of the Ants Canada channel, I have seen Carabara diversa, which is the marauder ants, you know, the titans. I've seen weaver ants here, tons of weaver ants living in the trees. It's just crazy. Um, as we said, monitor lizards live here, like endemic Philippine monitor lizards. The workers were killing them and eating them, but they're like, no, don't touch them. We want this to be a sanctuary for monitor lizards. And then there are snakes. And we were talking about, you know, when we have chickens, because obviously we have a chick right now. And so it's got me thinking, like, we have to build a chicken coop, like one that'll protect them from rats, monitor lizards, and snakes, and then let them roam free, I guess, during the day while we're watching them. And then hopefully by then we'll have a dog, a working dog, like, I don't know, a border collie or something that can round them up and lead them back into the chicken coop for us. Wow, this is like starting slowly to become a reality, guys. Oh, look at this. I see Diacama rugosum. See it right there. Huge, huge ants. Amazing. Another millipede. See, this is like a haven. OMG. So RJ, what do you think? Cool. Ooh. Apparently beyond this wall, we also own part of the land on the other side of the creek, which runs behind this wall. So maybe we could create like a secret hideout. You know what I'm saying? Like on the other side. Wow, 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 wow. Now all of this foliage will be cleared out, I'm assuming. And I look forward to the plants that will be planted all around this property. Of course, we're gonna try to grow herbs. Angie Meat King, remember that vlog? She inspired us to do some vertical aeroponic farming. So we'll grow um, vegetables and herbs vertically. Uh, and I do wanna like create sort of a lush garden, like a mix of like planted plants and possibly Possibly like some native leaves so that we can encourage like wildlife to come here you know what I mean like I do want a nicely tended garden we will have a gardener to help us maintain the property but ideally I would love for there to be you know like almost like a wild lushness so we can attract you know beneficial insects and birds and wildlife that would be ideal I would want basically Animals to be like, okay, my Buhai Squad property is the boardwalk of our Monopoly game. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Look at our neighbor's property. This wasn't here before. They fully like created a crop. Like they've tilled a, a proper garden. <gasps> Gorgeous. See that guys? They're growing something. That wasn't here before. Ooh. So sadly, we do have to cut down some trees. These are acacia trees, which happen to be my favorite kind of tree. Um, but Architect understands that we don't like cutting down trees and he's tried to design everything so that we cut as little trees as possible. And like some of those trees are actually one tree that are attached. So we would just be cutting down some of, you know, main stalks, I guess, of the tree. Look, there are neighborhood kids. How nice. I would want to climb this tree, seriously. <laughs> if I was a kid, which I still am, I would definitely climb this tree. It's easy. I would walk up there and then climb there, climb there, you know what I'm saying? I would love if Ligaya one day free flies. Just like let her fly, release her to fly into one of those branches and chill. Oh, they're playing dodgeball. <laughs> Love that. Oh, guys, it's becoming a reality. See that? Congratulations, Mikey, RJ, and the Mabuhai squad. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so, so crazy. But then we were laughing at this. Like, who is this couple? Who is this? Who, who's this guy and girl? Caucasian guy and girl. Seriously, who are they? So if you didn't see the whole history of us getting this place, we actually have a playlist from the moment we bought this property to now. So click here for that playlist mm -hmm. and um, this whole place is a farm estate and we chose it because one it's a gated community so it has 24-hour security and also they encourage farming which is really cool and it's a subdivision so it's got all the perks of a normal gated subdivision community like it's got a clubhouse which you'll see later also it's a farm estate so like you could do farming here you could build some of the neighbors here have built greenhouse 
houses. A lot of the people living here are retirees from other countries. We found like some Korean guy building this beautiful greenhouse just down there. And we love it because this community and subdivision actually gives us the tools and information as to, you know, to teach us how to farm. <laughs> so I really, as soon as we saw the property, we felt it. We're like, okay, we either go and live in Laguna, which was another beautiful, beautiful subdivision, but it was not farming. It was literally like a luxury, I don't know, like a neighborhood of mansions or here, <laughs> the simple life. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, even you guys said in that vlog, the choice is easy. This, this is us. And the cherry on top was that this whole area has fiber fast internet. Yes, because where we're currently living, even though we're in the city, we get an average of one Mbps upload. They, they don't do Converge, okay? We're on PLDT and we've also tried Sky and so slow, it takes forever. But guys, this place, fiber fast. Can you imagine? to explore the property here Ooh, look at this we have some what is this gabi i shouldn't point tabi tabi po or sweet potato or something do you guys know and then down there we have banana trees of course love it love that we could just go in the yard and pick some bananas you know what i'm saying so i guess they're continuing to build the barrier here the boundary you see where oh is it this is eucalyptus we have eucalyptus growing on our property i didn't know that i thought that was that was something else like oh that's not you is it yeah the leaves do look like it that would be interesting we've got australian imported trees on the property korea ryan says the wind is nice here it is this area windy and look they have like chicken coops like made of bamboo here awesome this here is the worker station what is it Oh, they're building this? Oh, they built a makeshift garden for themselves. Oh, they eat that. Oh, it's kamote. That. Oh, it's kamote. Okay. All right. These workers are so resourceful. Oh my gosh, RJ, I can't wait till we have like, you know, gardens, right? We could like pick it. We could pick our salad. All right. So we're just going to hang out here and wait for architect Dennis, our architect, to get here so we could discuss details about what's going on, get updates. Um, so that's coming up. It's like starting to sink in now more and more Mabu High Squad that like this is our future project build and like nest it just it blows my mind because it, exactly 10 years ago oh Sudamermex awesome sorry two against got distracted exactly 10 years ago in 2009 I could hardly afford rent you know what I mean I couldn't afford rent I was staying with friends you know what I mean like who pulled favors for me and like here we are we're building a house like that just it's incredible how much life can change in 10 years you know what I'm saying like and it's like all of those hours of video editing and hours spent working on Ants Canada and establishing the company, designing ant farms and like, you know, just, oh, this is like the physical manifestation of all the hard work RJ and I have done over the years. Just blows my mind. Thank you, Lord. Like the universe is just really kind sometimes. What am I saying? What am I saying all the time? All the time. The universe is kind, right? The universe is kind all the time. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh, look at the instruments they're using to like create what is this cement or gravel or something? Ooh. This is quite a different experience construction in the Philippines versus construction in like say Canada. I don't know. Wow. Ryan says that this area is just naturally cooler because it's close to Tagaytay and it's just so cool here. It's breezy. You could fall asleep out here. So this barrier here, this border, 
is electrically wired because there will be lights running all the way down all the way down so that it lights the property nicely all right so as i mentioned the subdivision has a clubhouse and this is the clubhouse there's a gorgeous gorgeous pool here see that and a very nice like eating area in case we want to host parties or something if rj and i ever decide to have kids over or adopt um there are playgrounds and stuff lots of places kids to play with and there's a stream there's more more yoga areas down there. It's just a beautiful, beautiful property. There's a school right there. See a school? Ooh, so nice. Hi. We got friends up there. Guys, we have friends here unexpectedly. What are your names? Lily. Lily. Do you guys live here? Yes. Ooh, awesome. We're gonna be neighbors soon. What's your name? Marco. Hi, Marco. Nice to meet you. Yes. Thank you, Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Nice meeting you. Wow, they're gonna be neighbors. Oh gosh, I love the neighbors already. Architect Dennis. Yes. Wow, so much work has been done since we were here last. Yes, guys, it's Architect Dennis. All right. Dig up the fish pond. We saw. Okay, he's gonna take us down. Here are the Hawaiian, the bamboo. Yeah, we saw. Uh, these are strong bamboos. Then we're going to clean it, then cut it, then put it there on the Baikubo. Cool. Please a fish pond then. Yes, the, fish the water will, reservoir. We can already there. put their seedlings and all. So that uh, during the construction of the house, you already have. Uh, I can't wait for a fish pond. Like, imagine beautiful lotus flowers growing there and stuff. Wow. And then, okay. Uh, the house will be there. So he's saying the second floor of the home will have a nice view of all of this down here. They're gonna move. You're gonna move soil from out there to here. Yes. We're going just to, to even it out for the, the pool. The that we excavate. We're Whoa. going to bring it down here. This Interesting. Wow. Oh wow. Okay, so he's saying even even though they're gonna move soil here to kind of level it out. It's still gonna have a sloping kind of like feel, but it'll be terraced. So it'll be one level, then like another level, then another level. And he was saying if we ever wanted to have an event or maybe a, even a concert or something, we can put chairs on like the various levels of this property and like people could watch a show like on stage somewhere here. I think that's a great idea. I would love to have a concert here in our yard. I also feel like this sloping topography will make for a beautiful garden. You know what I'm saying? like yes flat gardens are beautiful too but have you guys ever seen a garden that's like on land that goes like this oh beautiful the possibilities it's like building a terrarium you know what i'm saying and i can't wait for our fish pond wow that's gonna be so cool i can't believe we're gonna have a fish pond i guess it's gonna be and it's gonna be pretty deep i wonder if we can keep a crocodile inside <laughs> So they're using steel and like concrete to make the Baha'i Kubo so that if ever it needs changing, they just change the wood and then they keep the frame. So we're tr they're trying to make it a permanent installment. And also we want it to be sturdy for like, you know, typhoons and stuff. Um, but normally a, a traditional Baha'i Kubo does not have like cement and steel. Oh, this is the corner. This is the house. He marked where the house is. Okay, all the way down there to here, all the way down there. Oh my God, all the way down there? And then all the way down where those guys are. Wow, okay, this is, it seems a lot bigger than in the picture. There's more, oh my gosh, it's longer? It's longer than, oh my gosh, guys, look. Oh my, okay, so the house starts way down there by the tree, all the way here. This is the corner of the home, all the way down here. Let's see, imagine, guys. Here's gonna be the front door. <gasps> Oh, all the way down here. And then from what I understand, there's like, it goes in here, I think. It's where my mom's, my mom's bedroom and dad's place is on first floor. They can come out, enjoy coffee. And then, wow, it goes down here, all the way to the edge there. And then back to the tree. That's it. Oh, and I think they're, they're outlining the aviary. Ah, my boy squad, the aviary. Oh my gosh, I can, we can finally imagine what it looks like. Oh my. RJ, it's like Gaia's aviary. <laughs> Look, wow. Oh my gosh, wow. So all here, there. She has a lot of real estate of the home. Okay, I can kind of see it now. From there to down there to down there to here. Guys, let's step into the aviary and use our imagination. Okay, now that I see it, I feel like maybe 
one or two small trees can grow here. And then this aviary will extend up past first floor, past second floor, and then all the way to the roof, like to the roof of the third upper deck, the roof deck. So it's, it's a lot of space. We can have several parrots living in this aviary or flying around, even small birds. We have about a year and a half to plan it out. All right, so this is the studio. Here is living room area, living room area. We're all standing in the living room area. And then where's the kitchen? Kitchen, oh wow, RJ, you have quite the large kitchen. This is kitchen and dining area, I guess, over here. And then my mom and dad's room here. And then stairs, I think stairs go up here to the second floor. Where RJ, where is your whole kitchen? <laughs> it has to be big. Yeah, RJ wants like a master kitchen. You better be cooking good food. Yeah, see this is the balcony where my mom can go out and like drink coffee and stuff, my mom and dad. Guys, I'd like you to meet the foreman, Richie. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for your hard work. They're gonna start excavating on Monday. Ah! They're gonna start digging it. Man, guys, I just can't get over that. This is just crazy. This is blowing my mind right now. The home, the yard, the garden, the farm. There's a place down there for like animals to graze if we want. This is all surreal. I feel like I'm gonna wake up anytime soon. I feel like that almost every day. Seriously, what a blessing. And I, it fills me with such great joy, guys, that you are joining RJ and I through this whole process. Because, I mean, it's really something new <laughs> for both of us. Good morning, Mobile High Squad. OMG. I think we have a problem. I found a ton, a ton of these feathers at the bottom of her cage. I would say maybe like 10 or 11 of them. I hope this isn't what I think it is. 